Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Imi Chicken from Team Pandori, and today we have a review of the Magic NS Mayflash Stick. It's a magic wand. If we check here, it's for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 3, PC, Neo Geo Mini, and PlayStation Classic. I only have a few of these systems, but we're gonna use it in other ways. Inside the box, we get the stick, a cable from USB-C to USB-A, and also, we have the manual with stickers. The manual does get a bit sketchy around here, but simply one of these adapters acts as one input. You might be able to attach four controllers, but they'll all be player one. So what makes this different to any other Bluetooth stick? Well, I have a few controllers. Here's a PlayStation 3 controller. This can link directly to the stick wirelessly via Bluetooth. Not just that, but a variety of controllers can actually connect to this magic stick. Let's take a quick look at the back of the box. Here we have a quick insight of what controllers we can connect. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Nintendo, Xbox One can all connect wirelessly via Bluetooth. This includes PlayStation 5 with the new firmware. If we look closely at the end of my stick, we will see a USB port. Now with this, we can connect a host of other wired controllers. We just stick stick it in. The wired PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Switch, duh, 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 Xbox One, Xbox 360, Fight Sticks, and standard USB controllers. Logitech is also mentioned here. I do have a 310 and I also have a wireless 710. As Logitech and Xbox 360 can only be attached via cable, we would need an additional dongle to our dongle. Double dongle. It might get a bit messy. This stick would be great for any TV box that has no initial support for Bluetooth, like the Super Console X Pro, or the Super Console X. To use, simply insert your stick, then we'll have a flashing light. This indicator means it's searching for a paired device. If we tap the switch, it will be searching for a device to pair with. Using our PlayStation 4 clone, we can say hello to the stick. Hello stick, how you doing? The PlayStation 3 pad needs to use the cable first, then once paired, wireless play is possible. Even Wii pads are compatible, but you need to configure the pads within your software, or you'll be playing with your Wii stick upright. It works on the MUB, the RetroPie, and even using Batocera on our mini PC. So, why would you use this over the internal Bluetooth? Well, depending on the board, you can have noticeable lag. And now, Michael Jackson on my magical stick. If we take a look at the back of the stick, we can see there are multiple modes. When flashing is trying to sync, and the variety of colors indicate the pad that this stick emulates. The system you insert your stick into, will see it as a Switch pad, a Neo Geo, a PlayStation, and so on. To change the modes, we simply hold the switch on the stick. If you're subscribed, you can probably see where we can go with this. If you're new, please subscribe and enjoy the ride. Let's do some testing. Here's our Xbox 360 Hori Arcade Stick hooked up to the PlayStation 3. While this and the pad works, the Xbox 360 racing wheel does not. A favorite on this channel, Outrun 2. Attachments to the Wii controller also work, such as the nunchucks or the taiko drum. Slowly inserting the stick into the Astro City with an Xbox wireless controller, we can have large Astro City TV with the Xbox 360 Hori Tekken 6 stick. This is a great stick, guys. Sanwa, mmm. 
Wicked Gamer recommending me to get this. No regrets in this $10 purchase. We can't forget about the Pandora boxes. These things usually come with the worst possible wireless pads. But now, we finally have a fix. Well, sort of. It works with the DX as well as the 3D Games Plus, but I had no luck with the older 3D Games or Saga units. These games should be on arcade sticks. So guys, let's get into some of the pros and cons of the Magicness Stick. The product is fairly cheap at around $20. It works with a variety of systems and pads, and we also have a better connection than many internal Bluetooth controllers. Unfortunately, we can only have one controller input, so if you want two players, you need another dongle. The stick itself is a bit too long. Some people may like that, but things could get excessively messy as you need an extra dongle for wireless Xbox and logical controllers. We'd say that there's certainly a market for this, Having one controller to rule every system you own is just brilliant. If you'd like to grab one of these sticks, Ali and Amazon affiliate links are in the description below. It'll help us out without any extra cost. This has been Imitrikian of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next video. Stick, 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 sticks. Um.